one and all to the second Eco Puppetry Festival presented by Salt Tree Arts. I am Jen. And I am Shantae. It's, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. One of the organisms that I've been learning about is the barnacle. lot of respite and uh, solace in reading about the Chesapeake Bay and spending time there. The others have focused on interpretive dance. I'm grateful for trees. The trips we take in your Volkswagen bus. Well, you know, it's just your typical uh, bird feeder, and I, you know, have they have those plexiglass windows on both sides to keep the bird seat in. I took that out, um, drilled a couple holes for the cranks. It was actually very easy, very easy to do. I wait. How, how long do you wait? Do you wait seven to ten days? No. no. There it is. You hear that thing? That freeze is done. We'll pop it open, and then we will just uh, pop the lid off and see. All right, look. Uh -huh. What? What? There's a what? What? How does this? Now come back over. I'll bring it back over. You guys can see it. It's a little. It's a little sunflower. But I also studied theater. But seriously, you create your world and you must correct its fallacies. The greatest of these follies is the widespread belief in money. This fallacy begets further fallacies such as the fiction that labor is necessary in any sense. What is the purpose of technology if not to free you from labor? I did, so that I just filmed it with my phone filming my computer screen while he moved that eyeball around with his tongue. So that's Snuffleupagus and Telly Monster just moving an eyeball around with his tongue. And I was like, oh, now Martin's in my, my movie. This is great. Well, I'm here to tell you all about some really fascinating facts about my favorite topic. Wait for it. Wait for it. Dirt! Oh, yeah. I am so ready for winter, and it's not even October. The big scope of problems. I, I think one of the reasons puppetry is so good at, at addressing these big environmental issues is that puppetry in and of itself is an interdisciplinary art form and like a lot of the big problems that are facing the world really need to be approached at through an interdisciplinary solution. Ovals full of the future. In less than a month, that future would emerge as mighty balls of fluff, able to feed themselves. Stalwart survivors, teetering on the teeniest of legs. So that last bird is a spotted sandpiper. They were the, the birds that um, we saw the most of, and they are kind of um, like an indicator species of the fact that like rewilding is beginning to happen. And what was really cool was like the last day that I was there, I was able to actually find a nest. I saw a nest from afar. So the future is happening. There will be some baby birds. Mm -hmm. 